If you bought a Vizio Smart TV in the past two years, congratulations! You've been sharing all of your data, whether you meant to or not. So these TVs, um, while relatively uh, inexpensive and a good deal, may not have been so much. According to a complaint brought up by the FTC, and the state of New Jersey, uh, many people who use these TVs had unknowingly given away a lot of their viewing information to the, com the company, which then sold them for profit, uh, anonymized versions for profit, rather, including um, what you're watching, how long you're watching, who's in your household, and uh, more data in th of the ilk. It takes images every second of what's on your screen Green, whether mm -hmm. you're watching over the air television or cable television or a DVD or a game or uh, anything. So uh, that's kind of a frightening thought. They, it was filed under enables program offers and suggestions. So if you allowed your smart TV to do that, because it says, do you want to enable this feature? You said, okay, yes, please steal what I'm watching and sell it to people for money. Well, newer versions of the smart cast system um, have it turned off by default, but those ones had it turned on by default, uh, previously sold in the past two years. And this is sadly not uncommon practices. Uh, for When we're looking at streaming devices, um, most of them do not even allow you to turn them off. For instance, uh, Roku, Apple, and Amazon Fire TV devices only let you limit uh, whatever your information is, uh, privacy and ad tracking, back to the company, as opposed to turning them off entirely. Chromecast can be turned off through your Google Home system. This is all pretty fucked up, yeah. in my opinion. Like, let's <laughs> say I had made a sex tape, uh, like, of the Kim Kardashian fashion. Uh, not necessarily with Kim Kardashian, but it could be. Okay. And then I had played it for my own enjoyment, my personal non-releasing on the internet, on this television. Now there's a company that has all these images from this video and can sell them if they want and do whatever they want. That's, I'm sure, more than what some people bargain for. That's not cl exactly the terms they said, but you know, if it takes if you pictures of your screen is, and you play something private on your screen, that it's is not, not unfair for you to make that uh, that leap Thank there. You. That this could, this is a breach of your privacy. Yeah, that's an extreme example, obviously. But any sort of like undocumented spying on any of my activities. Like, remember when we got so upset about the initial announcement of the Xbox One and the microphone was always on and the camera was, all, camera was always on? Yeah, the public was outraged yeah. and they changed it. But the and problem is it. now this kind of tracking and monitoring situation through electronic devices has become more and more prevalent, which is making it more normalized. Just because everyone is looking at you doesn't mean that everyone is right to be spying on you in that way. And and we are getting to this point in um, time where perhaps children growing up today will think it's normal to have place, yeah. their, their, whatever they're browsing or watching or looking at monitored and monetized and sold. It's not right. It isn't unless you opt into it. You need to make that decision yourself. According to the FTC, that is one of the... Um, one of the results of this will result... Of this lawsuit, yeah. Yes. Uh, they will be paying a $2.2 million settlement. That's nothing. That's not very much if you are a major manufacturing company of electronics. Um, but in the settlement, Vizio agreed to make its tracking notices much clearer. They have to be presented on their own, not buried in the TOS, which happens a lot. Uh, prominently disclose what's being tracked, what'll be shared, with what parties, who those parties are, and why it's being shared. Uh, require the consumer to specifically agree to opt in. Provide instructions on how to later opt out. And I think these are great. These are in line with how it should be. You should never think that it's normal for a company to watch you and then make money off of that without your expressed uh, desire and consent. It's enough to make me think that crazy people have it right. The people that, you know, go out in the woods and disconnect off the grid, wear tinfoil hats. It's like, yeah, people are watching you. They are collecting your data. You are volunteering for these things to, to the NSA and the corporations and uh, so exasperating. We do these stories all the time. Yeah, it happens a lot where we're talking about um protection of, well, I, this is more of a private company than I would say government until right, the FTC yeah. stepped in, uh, but there, we're, we are losing protections of the American citizen in favor of profits. 
um, in many different ways. This is a private way of it happening, and it's not right. It needs to never be thought of as just something that happens. You have to choose to be part of this. If it's just happening without your consent, you should be outraged. You, you're not crazy to be outraged by this. Don't let them gaslight you, <laughs> is what I'm saying. Um, is there ever an opportunity where you would want to opt into this? Maybe if you're... Uh, um, like, a, like a compensated Nielsen family, maybe? Hmm, yeah. You know? uh, yeah. Or, or if, you know, that's what gets you off, is sharing <laughs> all of your private moments with undisclosed corporations. And we're back corporations. to the sex tape. Um, yeah, that reminds me of the Christian Shaw BDSM uh, T-Mobile oh, commercials quite a bit. Good. Hey, does this weird shit get you off? <laughs> we'll opt into this. Uh, audience, could you ever see yourself opting into this kind of thing, or do you actually view it as normal? Let us know below in the comments, and please like and subscribe for more.